Today I'm going to show you application of SIN. So let's get started. So Mr. Berry is 5 feet 7 inch and 2880 ounces and he left a home. Let's draw the clock. Um, let's first draw the hour hand. Um, so 6 a.m. 6 in the morning and he arrived at work. Let's draw the clock. And let's wait for the hour hand. 7.30 and security measures his temperature 97.88 so how many fundamental quantities represented in this problem so let's I'll call all the fundamental quantities length mass elapsed time and the temperature so there are four fundamental quantities represented in this problem now convert them 5 feet 7 inches so 7 inches converted to feet 7 over 12, 7 over 12 feet. So 5 feet plus 0.58. So 5.58 feet. All right, now 5.58 feet, as good as it is it, but it is not SI unit. So let's convert it to SI unit, 5.58 feet. So what do we know? 1 meter is 3.28 feet. So times meter over feet. So the ratio is one meter three point two eight feet. So now feet feet cancel five point five eight divided by three point two eight meters. So it's gonna be one point seven meter. So Mr. Berry is one point seven meter. All right. So uh, yeah, this is a meter stick. If I measure my height by meter stick, I should be one hundred seventy centimeter. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm very close to 170 uh, centimeter because I have shoes on. I have to remove the shoes to get the accurate. So now let's um, convert to the mass. One pound is, we know that one pound is 16 ounces and one uh, kilogram is 2.2 pound and one pound is 0.44 kilogram. So 2880 ounce. We're going to first convert it to pound. So the pound on the top and ounce on the bottom, one pound is 16 ounce times. Now you're going to convert it to the kilogram, kilogram and pound. So one kilogram is 2.2 .2 pound. So ounce ounce cancel, pound pound cancel. So 2880 divided by 16 times 22 kilogram so it's 81 kilogram so mr berry is 81 kilogram so we have two left elapsed time and temperature so let's do the elapsed time and in order to elapse time we have to draw the clock so let's draw let's draw both clock let's make some room to draw the clock so let's draw the hour hand and minute hand um, we can ignore the second hand So this is 6 o'clock, 6 a.m. and this is 7.30. So 6 and 7.30. So elapsed time is 1 hour 30 minute, 0 second. So you're going to convert 1 hour to second and 30 minute to second. So 1 hour minute second. So 1 hour times the hour should be on the bottom and second should be on the top. One hour is three six zero zero second. Now let's use the different color for the minute. So thirty minute is equal to second over minute. So sixty second is one minute and now zero zero second. So now what are we gonna do? Hour hour cancel, minute minute cancel. 3600 second plus 1800 second, so 5400 second. So, all together, we're gonna have 5400 second, and 5400 second is 5.4 times 10 raised to 3 second. Now let's do the third part and the final part. Final part is the temperature. Converting the temperature to 
the SI unit. So we have Fahrenheit given, but let's let's give you the formula. F is equal to 9 over 5 Celsius plus 32. And then now let me give you C. C is equal to 5 over 9 parenthesis F minus 32. And then finally K. K is equal to C plus 273. All right, now let's convert the convert the Fahrenheit to Celsius first. So Celsius is 5 over 9 F minus 32. So 5 over 9. F is 97.88 minus 32. So now our Celsius is 36.6 Celsius. Um, uh, so now we're going to plug it into the Kelvin. So 36.6 plus 273 is equal to 2 is equal to 310. So 310 Kelvin. All right, so next time we're going to do other three, application of other three SI units, luminous intensity, the, the amount of substance and color.